Now, I'd like to talk about how SQL account can comply to Custom Malaysia rule on non-refundable deposit as a taxable income. The rule states that any non-refundable deposits will become taxable within 21 days even if no invoice has been issued the payment of deposits non-refundable will be charged for tax. First, to do that is to go to a sales order. In this case, we already have an example sales order number 29 on the 1st of April 2015 with two items, same quantity, same unit price, as well as same tax. The add up tax together is 120 ringgit. The client has paid deposits in this case to May. We will deposit under Maybank and the client have given us a check number. There is no bank charges. And of course, the amount that deposits we collected from the client is 530 ringgit. When upon save of this sales order, an official receipt will be automatically generated. If a client requests that this sales order to be printed out as a form of confirmation, you can print out a report to show them of this confirmation. And of course, you can call it by any other different name. And of course, the deposit amount can actually be shown in this confirmation order as well. Once we have this, we can double check that the payment of the deposit is now in customer payment with 530 ringgit on the same day with the same check number. Next, we go to an invoice. Let's make the presumption that now this sales order is going to be converted to two invoice. We're going to manually purposely input a unique number to this invoice 4x and transfer to from the sales order to an invoice using the transfer module and we're going to make it a little bit more difficult by keying in a partial delivery so seven units was delivered to this invoice and three units was delivered to this invoice with two different items from the same sales order number on the 1st of May. We're going to save this and we're going to create a new one, the same client, transfer from the same sales order number with a balance amount of 3 and 7 from the SO number 29. We're just going to make one thing different, which is going to do this in June. And normally the system will automatically generate a number, but this time we're going to purposely create a unique number for it and save it. So as you can see, XXX and YYY is what we did from the same sales order. Now we're going to generate a GST return from the month of April to June. Just press on the button and the GST return will automatically appear. We're going to look at this main report, GST03. When we look at the GST03, clearly we want to be able to see the output tax, whether they include any non-refundable deposits. In this case, the output tax value is 1,541 ringgit and 66 cents. All you have to do is just double click on it. There is a report called 5B will appear to you. And to make it simple, we're just going to look at three documents. The sales order, the XXX, and the YYY. As you can see, sales order, the deposits 500, has generated a 30 ringgit tax. And the, as for the rest, will be 90 ringgit exactly added up from two invoices. So, SQL account has successfully done both the deposits for uh, tax calculation within 21 days as well as the invoice calculation for the tax at the later stage.